Hi, I'm Richard Van Donk, founder of the Enlightened Warrior Sword Training and the Bushendo Martial Arts University. And what I'd like to speak to you about today is about what it's like to study with me. And I'm really, honestly, I mean, if I just can speak freely, I'm really an open, light-hearted guy, you know, that loves life, that celebrates life, that does his best to inspire others to live the very best life that they can have. That's really what I'm about. In every aspect of my being, I'm really about that. And what I'm really about in this training is to help you to become a total human being, if you will. To own yourself fully. Whatever that is, whatever that takes, is to, to bring all of you into you, okay, so that you can live uh, fully in this life. And to live without fear and to, to live with a passion. What's this got to do with sword everything? You know, the, the sword is like... Uh, the, the way, you know, and of the samurai, and the way of the samurai, if I will, to, to go to that, that just come right, samurai comes to mind, is that, you know, the, the story goes that they lived in, uh, by the sword. Their life was the sword. For some, the, the sword was like the seed of their own soul. And they did this practice of, uh, with a sword in a way that it was to, master who they are, right? And just learning to draw or learning to cut, learning with the precision of things was a way of keeping their mind focused in, in a great concentration. So much so that if they had, their whole life was on the line on their ability to use this one particular item, this thing, right? Called a sword. Their, their whole life revolved around that, the life and death. So, if you think of it that way, then since you're not in a the battle of using it in life and death, that if you use it as a perfection of yourself, right, if you take it as a tool to live your perfection, that if you first are trying to find a sword and you're kind of fumbling to get it out and not knowing how it works and you know and you you go from that to learning how to turn it just right and oh wow it comes out easy this this is that's really cool and then you're taking and then you're learning to like bring it in a certain direction and then you're learning wow that that could be a cut and you learn to put some energy and lift some presence in it right and then you learn to do another cut and you learn to hold it and you learn to stand and to hold your presence and you learn to get to move in all different ways and th those kinds of skills build things in who you are. So the training is really is about that. So a lot of the times even though I'm giving stories and I'm talking about things, I'm trying to work your mind. I'm trying to work your mind into a new way of thinking, into a new way of interacting, a way of getting clarity and the more that you know stories about history from your teachers and your teachers teachers or things that have happened in different contexts I want you to know that inside those stories are really carefully set up in a way to get your mind to think certain ways to in a metaphoric way well maybe put yourself into that position of the story and some and you do by hearing stories that it takes you on a journey and hopefully it's sometimes a personal journey and maybe that little story or that personal journey is going to take you to the next level of yourself that you'll be able to handle uh, talking to somebody about a relationship that you really want to create whether that's a love relationship or and you can stand up and and uh, be more present and asking for the job that you want instead of being down and she can go like I really would like to work here is different than hi I'm so and so and I won't go into the whole depth of that but, hi I'm here to you know to, you, you get the idea I, I don't really want to go too much in depth with that but you, you understand the difference of that presence and that's kind of what I want you to to, uh, to understand that the stories that I'm telling you are to give you those kind of different mindsets, if you will, mental attitudes, if you will, to give you a more awakened way of looking at things. I'm going to be going in and out of um, 
the depths of the teachings while I'm teaching. A lot of times it will make jokes and humor so that you don't take things too seriously. You have to have the balance of the humor to keep that happy heart, that pure white heart, if you will, that transcendence in you while you're learning something serious. And But you have to be able to change from the happy heart serious too serious. In a moment's notice, you have to be a master of your emotions. Not always easy, but in the middle of something that's a confrontation, you have to be able to pull yourself together to be completely focused and to getting the outcome that you want. But to live that way the whole time kind of takes away a lot of the value that I've found about life. And that's about loving it and celebrating and having a great time too. And you find me in those positions, you know, I'm a guy that loves to, you know, give hugs to the people that I love and care about. Maybe it's from because I'm from California, I don't know. But I, I love doing that. You know, I'm more of a, a hug guy than I am, say, a handshake guy. You know, if that's not cool with you, that's fine. But if it's cool with you, come up, give me a hug sometime. I'm waiting for that. You know, I'm the kind of guy that wants to meet all of his students. I, I, I don't really want all of that, that distance in a sense. Sure, there needs, there's respect levels just like I have for my teacher, and I have great respect for my my teachers that, you know, even though if I've sat down and, and say I've gone out and got drunk with them or whatever and had a great time and friendship, you know, no matter how deep it's been, they're always master so-and-so or soke so-and-so or conso so-and-so. Always. Never call them by their first name. You know, it's, to me, I just can't do it. It's just, that's where I'm at. I'm really, really about respect. Martial arts and life really begins and ends with respect. We have the challenges and all the injustices in the world because we don't have enough respect for each other. We can do better as a human race. I'm really about that as well. Humanity can do better. It really can. But it's up to us, each individual, it has to make that happen. We have to start in our own selves. So throughout the sword training, you're going to, in the Light Warrior teachings, you're going to hear me speak about that. That's kind of what I'm about. Uh, I drive hard in the things that I'm all in with. And maybe you do and maybe you don't. So if I press too hard or if I'm too funny or I'm not do this or that, you know, just know that there's an overall plan and an overall goal where it's going. You know, and if you really don't want to be a happy, loving human being as well as learning to be a warrior, then, well, maybe this isn't, you know, for you. I, you know, it's, I don't know what else to tell you. I'm not going to change who I am. Uh, work too hard on getting it. And I, I love my life. I love it with passion. And I'm going to continue that process, and I'm going to continue other people to do that because the world needs more love and it needs more happiness. And you can be just as serious as you ever need to be, you know, and I can be when I need to. Uh, so it all depends on the context. And uh, I can cut somebody down and be smiling the whole entire time. <laughs> Not that I ever want to do that. I want to show up with uh, the highest light no matter what it is that I have to do in my life. And so I'm going to encourage you, you know, to, to do that. So expect some some fun in the training as well. Uh, and understand that, you know, there is there's specific things that I really, really want you to learn. And if I'm putting it in here and I'm talking about it, you know, over and over again, there's there's a reason for doing it that way. There is a reason. Are there other ways? Sure there are. There's lots of ways. It's unlimited. And, and does it work is really the, the end result. But I want you to learn the formal and the informal and the unification of that. So we're going to cover all aspects of the infinite way to do the sword. That's really what this is about. And we're going to explore all those things without limitation. That's the great news in all of this. So that just tells you just a little bit about me and a little bit of what about uh, what it's going to be like uh, to study with me. And uh, so I will see you on the mat. And I hope I look forward to the next time that we get to meet in person as well.